Temples of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are sacred places of worship. They are considered houses of the Lord, where God's presence dwells. But over time, all temples require maintenance, remodeling, and renovation to ensure they last for generations to come. In 2019, church leadership announced one such renovation for the Salt Lake Temple. The project was both a massive seismic upgrade to protect against earthquake damage and an extensive remodel to increase its capacity. The seismic upgrades on the Salt Lake Temple use several integrated engineering systems that fit together to strengthen the building and minimize damage during an earthquake. The original foundation, reinforced with concrete and steel rods, rests on a platform of cylindrical beams. These beams are also filled with concrete and reinforced with steel cables. This platform is anchored into a massive framework of transfer beams, which are also reinforced with steel rods and cables. Together, the cylinders and the transfer beams make up the upper foundation that can completely support the weight of the temple. Below the transfer beams rests the new lower foundation, reinforced concrete footings, six feet thick. The only contact the upper and lower foundation has is through 98 seven-foot base isolators. Base isolators are mechanical devices that isolate the movement of the earth from the building above during a seismic event. In effect, the earth moves below while the building above remains more stable. The base isolators for the temple can each carry over 8 million pounds, or 3.6 million kilos, and can allow horizontal movement up to 5 feet in any direction during a seismic event. While base isolation goes a long way to prevent structural failure, it is not perfect. Movement and damage can still occur. As part of this project, structural reinforcement was included to further minimize the chances of earthquake damage. The purpose of structural reinforcement is to bind the elements of the building together so that if it does move during an earthquake, it moves as one consolidated object and does not come apart. For the Salt Lake Temple, this reinforcement starts with the installation of additional steel trusses next to the originals that strengthen the roof and brace the north and south walls. The trusses anchor into bonding beams that provide additional strength between the towers. In turn, they connect to steel cables that run through vertically drilled holes in the walls and anchor into the new upper foundation. Once the upper foundation is in place, the weight of the temple rests completely on the base isolators and the earth beneath the cylindrical beam platform can be removed. All these connected systems are designed to protect, reinforce, and consolidate the temple structure, making it much more resistant to seismic damage. These improvements help ensure that the iconic Salt Lake Temple will continue to stand as a worldwide symbol of faith in Jesus Christ and a place of worship for hundreds of years to come.